Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be talking about the CF Moto 650 Adventura. Adventura? Adventura. I don't know. The CF Moto 650 Adventura. This is a super well equipped adventure motorcycle with a 650cc parallel twin, saddlebags from the factory, a USB port in the dash, the color TFT display that we've seen from CF Moto before, a fully adjustable windscreen, really slick looking LED lighting, and fully adjustable suspension in the front and rear. Today we're gonna to take this bike for a test ride, and at the end of that, I'm gonna tell you whether or not this this motorcycle right here is a good buy or a good buy. Let's get into it. All right, and welcome to the test ride. One thing I've forgotten to bring up on the CF Moto bikes that I've done in the past is that anything over the 300cc category, you're gonna get fully adjustable levers from the factory, which I think is really nice because you get to make the bike fit you as soon as you buy it. You don't have to go out and buy aftermarket levers. What I usually like to do is grab another motorcycle specification sheet on the way out for a comparable model when looking at something that I'm test riding and reviewing. And for this bike, the closest comparable model from one of the Japanese OEMs is going to be the Versus LT. Well, that's the model that comes with saddlebags from the factory. You can get it without the saddlebags, but the LT is the one that comes with them, and this bike comes with saddlebags, so this is as apples to apples as I could get. Right off the bat, this bike does not feel over cumbersome, and that's probably attributed to its curb weight. It's only 480 pounds. Comparing that to the Versus, it's 483 pounds. So this bike is actually lighter, and in my opinion, comes with better standard equipment. Now, where you do make some sacrifices, is going to be the horsepower and torque numbers as well as the fuel economy. Horsepower, you're looking at 60 horse compared to 63 on the Versus. You're looking at 41 pound foot versus 45 pound foot from the Versus 650. Fuel economy, you're looking at about 45 miles per gallon on this versus 48 miles per gallon on the Versus 650. So we're really not that far apart on specs. That's going to come into play whenever we start talking about pricing here in a minute. For those of you who are looking at a, an adventure motorcycle and plan to do some longer trips you know maybe thousands of miles 2,000 miles a lot of the guys big thing is that they don't want to be stopping every 150 miles for fuel and that's maybe gonna be the one instance where this bike kind of falls short a little bit on one tank I've estimated you can go about 213 miles if you got every last drop of fuel out of it most guys don't do that they stop with at least 20 or 30 miles left before they've got to fuel up and that's gonna put this bike getting right around 180 usable miles out of a tank the fueling is a little jumpy, I will concede that, but it's nothing terrible. It's pretty responsive for being a cable-driven throttle. If you heard earlier, I said it does have 60 horsepower, and that figure might be familiar. And that's because I've already ridden another 650 motorcycle from CF Moto, being the 650 NK, which actually uses the same motor. Which is kind of funny, because Kawasaki does the same thing with the Z650 and the Versus 650. So we're really apples to apples here. Every full-size CF Moto motorcycle is going to come with a two-year warranty versus the Versus is only going to get a one-year warranty from Kawasaki. Yeah, this 650 motor does not feel as peppy as the Versus 650 or the Z650, whichever one you want to take it from. It just doesn't feel like it has quite the grunt positioning of the bike. I feel really comfortable. The saddle feels great too. It's got a nice material to it. It's not super slick. It's nice and grippy, so whenever you're hitting those bumpier roads, maybe some gravel, you're not sliding all over the seat. We're going to do a quick roll on. We're going to go from 20 miles an hour, first gear, and we're going to hammer into it. If it needs to get up and get going, it does a pretty good job of it. And this bike does include the slipper clutch, just like every other full-size CF Moto. But now we got to talk about price. So this bike starts at, I think it was $64.99. By the time you get it out the door, after all dealer associated fees, freight, setup, handling, all that, you're looking at about $8,800. That is where the Versus 650 starts at MSRP. And that's on the model that doesn't include bags from the factory. If you want the model that has bags from the factory, you're looking at $99.99. $199, are you out of your mind? And once you get the LT version out the door, it's about 12 grand. If you go with the regular 650 versus, it's about 11 grand. That's quite a price jump going from the Adventura to the versus. Now, let's do the zero to 60 test. All right, three, two, one, go. Lost my sticky note. This windscreen does a pretty good job of chucking wind up and over. No wind buffeting. I'm in my own little wind bubble thing. Right. Do we have good passing power? Yeah, it's 
So if you're cruising on the interstate behind one of these big tractor trailers and you've got to make a pass, you've got plenty of top end passing power to get past him. It's going to take you a second to get there, but that's kind of what you pay for. That's not to say that you've got to compromise because like we talked about already with the versus comparison, this bike is really, really close in specifications. The starting MSRP is so much lower that it's hard not to look at this and consider it as a serious option. I don't think you're compromising with this. I think you're looking at a competitive model and you're making a well-informed decision if you pick one of these up over a versus. And of course, we've got to see if it wheelies. Okay. Okay, anyway, let's do this. Value, check. Features, check. Ride quality, check. And I'll let you guys have a quick look at these bags. So all you gotta do, push that, this flips up, pull that, and now we're open. So we got a nice little clip in here. They're shad bags, you all know shad. I wish this had like a little strut that let it down a little bit easier. It just kind of flopped open. Pull that. Not a, a great design, but it's a bag and a bag's a bag. And they do lock so you can protect all your goodies. Simon, could you do the honors and tell the audience my verdict? No. Okay, this bike is a good buy. I'm really happy with this product, and I just got some really cool news today that the 800 Adventura is gonna be making its way over here to the States for model year 2023. So whenever that gets here, I will be doing a video on it. It's gonna be sometime around February or March, but it's in the future plans. So now, let's get to the outro. Hello, welcome to the end of the video. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button, leaving me a like, and dropping a comment down below. We're so close to a thousand subscribers, so thank you for your continued support. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, have a great day, and ride safe.